Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, January 11th, 2019. This week, how to make digital vellum using fill versus opacity in Photoshop. At the top right corner of the layers panel in the full version of Photoshop, there are two drop-down menus, opacity and fill. By default, these values are set to 100%, and this gives the layer a fully opaque appearance. You may have wondered what the difference between these two settings may be and how you might use them. So to experiment, open up a document with stacked layers like a layer template. I'm using Studio Double D Layer Works number 1038. Select a layer that overlaps one or more other layers and apply a drop shadow. I'm lucky because on this template the drop shadow was already applied. But Katie Pertit's Drop Shadow Styles collections make creating shadows quick and easy. Let's start by looking at opacity. With the shadowed layer selected, click the opacity drop down arrow and slowly drag the opacity slider to the left. As you drag, you'll see the layer becomes more and more transparent, and so does the shadow. Using the opacity function reduces the visibility of both the layer content and the layer style. So at 0%, the entire layer becomes completely invisible. Now let's talk about fill. Drag the opacity slider all the way back to 100% and we'll see how fill functions. With the shadowed layer selected again, click the fill drop down and slowly drag the fill slider all the way to the left. As you drag, you'll see that the layer is becoming more and more transparent, but the shadow is remaining intact. Using the fill function reduces the visibility of the layer content without affecting the layer style at all. This is really the best way to create digital vellum because dragging the fill slider toward the left allows the layers under the item to show through, but it retains the dimensional look of the shadow. You'll need to adjust the percentage to your particular project, since at 0%, the item becomes completely transparent, and you just see the shadow. On this one, about 22, 25% seem to look good, because you can see the layers underneath but you still have the color. Although opacity and fill are similar functions, knowing the subtle differences between them can help you create just the look that you want to achieve. Thanks so much for watching this week's video and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Designer Digitals tip.